HC, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So today's video is about job market and value creation. So what I wanted to do with this video is really help people understand what value creation is because I think nowadays it really has changed from uh, maybe when you were looking for a job the last time you sent a resume. I mean, we used to look at jobs by, you know, looking at titles and see, okay, I'm an accountant, so I'll just look at uh, putting accountant on my resume or I'm a marketing specialist, so I'll just put marketing specialist. This is part of the work that I do because I think, again, in human resources, the work tends to be quite uh, very simple in a way. It's like we want a marketing specialist, you have marketing specialists on your resume, boom, it's a match. But we have to go a little deeper than this and we have to look at how you bring value. So the first step is really to look at the market, see what type of jobs are in demand in Switzerland, if you're looking in Switzerland, obviously. Uh, what type of companies and what are they looking for? Are they looking for engineers? Are they looking for marketing, etc.? That gives you an idea of uh, where it's going, where the market is going and whether you fit in it. And the sad reality is that you may not. So um, I'm taking the example of many people who contact me who work in back office type of function. So what I mean by back office is secretarial, uh, so admin assistant, uh, operations, uh, maybe a little bit of accounting, etc. So that's called back office. So all these jobs are actually being automatized as we're speaking. So there will be less and less opportunities. I think there's still to some extent some, some work there because a lot of companies uh, are not really up there yet. So they still need to some extent those back office functions, but uh, you will find that uh, it's not where the market is going, meaning that in 10 years, 15 years, it's probably going to be obsolete, you know, and you will need to work in a different field. So that's why if you're young right now and uh, you are an admin assistant, let's say maybe that's not the longer term type of uh, idea there. You know, maybe you need to rethink that. So check jobapp.ca, jobs.ch, indeed.ch to see what the market needs and how you fit into that. Number two is define what your main skill is. Most people don't even know this. They, they've just had jobs, but they don't really know what they're good at. So that's why the skills assessment might be a good idea because you can actually work on yourself, work on, you know, where you should target as well. And you don't waste time because if you're each time you're sending a resume to uh, uh, irrelevant uh, company for a job, not that the company is irrelevant, but for a job that's not going to be a good match for you, uh, it's time wasted. So the sooner you know exactly what you're looking for and how you bring value with your skill, the sooner you can find a job. Number three, how do you match the two? How do you match uh, the market with your skill set? So that's really an art, you know, it's really knowing how to communicate. You have to do it on your uh, cover letter, on your resume, and then during the interview again. So there's a, a path really to get the job. It's not so much as I send a resume and I get a job. It's you know, you need to understand the market. You need to understand what value you have in comparison with the competition, you know, and, and really go at it as a project, which I've said many times before in my video. So that's really my last message is think about your job search as, as a project and, and really see how you fit in this new world of technology that's going to be uh, the future, really. And if you're young and if you still have many years to work, you know, think about how to position yourself for uh, the longer term, you know, this is what you will need. So again, contact at pliadhc.com if you want to inquire about booking some sessions together and I'll talk to you soon.